Hi, my name is Paul and I'm part of the support team here at SelectTech. We get a number of requests regarding PaperCut installations on Mac servers, so we've decided to produce a video to help you walk through the process. This is a Mac server running OS Sierra, the newest operating system from Apple. We have already installed three printers and these have been tested to make sure they are fully working before installing PaperCut. We have already downloaded the very latest version of PaperCut to make things easier. Double click this file to unpack it. The PaperCut install has three separate files. The first file is a secondary server application. This is used when you have printers across multiple servers or installed locally on each workstation. The second is a site server which is used to give resiliency to your network if the application server fails. This is used when remote sites are needed. The third is a main application. Please double click this file to start the installation process. When the application starts click continue. Then fully read the software license agreement and click the Agree button to continue. On the next screen, click Install. You will be asked to enter your admin account details to allow PaperCut to be installed. Please click on the Install Software button when your details have been entered. The installation is now completed. PaperCut will now open and show the configuration wizard page. Please enter a suitable password for the admin user. Please make sure the location is set to English United Kingdom. Click in Next to continue. Please enter your organization type and click Next. Here set the defaults for color and grayscale printing. These could be done later if required. Click Next to continue. Set any initial user credit to what you require and then click Next. In the User Group Synchronization page, please click on either Import Users or Import Users from Selected Groups. Click Next to continue. Verify the setup page options and then click finish to start the synchronization process. When complete, click close. On the configuration wizard page, click login to open PaperCut. PaperCut is now set up and all users have been added to the database. Now you can add groups or shared accounts for your users to print to. When paper gets installed on a Mac server, you have to manually add each printer. They are installed locally, but PaperCut needs to be enabled on each printer before it appears within the database. To enable PaperCut to monitor these printers, click on Finder, then Applications, Scroll down to the PaperCut MF or NG folder and double click the Control Printer Monitoring command. To run this script you must enter your admin password. As you enter the password no characters appear on the screen. Once you've entered this successfully please click Enter on the keyboard to continue. To allow PaperCut to monitor these printers, you have to relax the sandbox configuration on this Mac server. Please type Y and click Enter to continue. PaperCut will now list every individual printer on this server. You have three options for each printer. Press Enter to select to the next option. E will enable the printer. D will disable PaperCut on the printer. Or L will leave the settings intact. After you've selected all the printers, refresh the printer page to see if the printers now appear. If they still don't appear, please try a test print to the printer 
which will force Papercut to monitor it. I hope you found this video useful. To see more of our YouTube videos, please search for Select Tech UK.